Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today I want to show you a RFID tech solution. I have here two different boxes, in, uh, two different modules in this box. 125 kilohertz solution, 13.56 megahertz solution. And first of all, I will connect that reader. I have a tag here, or RFID tag. If I put that to the reader, you can hear it's operate. Uh, until you use a plastic box, it's no problem at all. As soon as you start to use this box from a metal, or you have to connect this uh, different uh, surface like a metal, uh, steel, or aluminum, I will put now aluminum under the coil, you may have the problem that the LFID tag won't be read. So you need to decouple some way this coil from this aluminum. First solution, you can try to use this absorber sheet. It's a flexible woven string. It's just a conductive absorber sheet. Um, I will introduce now between the aluminum and the coil. And let me see what happened. Not a good solution. It's still not reading. Then the next try will be, I will use the absorber sheet, a flexible ferrite absorber sheet, which is 0.1 millimeter thickness. I will put this 0.1 millimeter thickness between coil and aluminum. Still not working, so I have to increase the thickness. In the same material, we have now 0.3 millimeter thickness. Let me see what will happen now. If I may introduce now the 0.3 millimeter, you can see, you can hear it. It's already working by 0.3 millimeter as well. Uh, to increase the distance and to be very reliable, I would recommend to use at least a one millimeter thickness. The one millimeter thickness is quite flexible as well. It's the same material, but it's much more stable. And then you have a better decoupling and you have a better distance for this RFID tag. If you have a space problem and one millimeter thickness is not reliable for you, we have a different material like FSFS is also absorber sheet. In this, you can see on the color, the black color, have very small ferrite plates inside in a, in a rubber, also with a double adhesive tape. And the 0.1 millimeter thickness already, if I put that 0.1 millimeter thickness, you can hear and see the RFID tag, it's operate as well. If you think 0.1 is not so safe for you and you want to be a better decoupling, I will recommend use 0.3 millimeter. It's the same material, also still very flexible with a double adhesive tape. It's much more reliable and 0.3 millimeter is not so thick. You can use that one and you can see you have the maximum distance which you can achieve. Similar material like this absorber are used also in a wireless power charging. So it's not absolutely identical material, but it's a similar material to have a better decoupling of this coil of the rest of the electronic. You can see this is not so flexible. Some of those are small size is more flexible. The bigger is not so flexible, but it's a similar uh, situation. You have to better decoupling for the wireless power charging. Hope you enjoy it and you have fun and recommend watch my next videos. See you next.